Um, right, uh, this is where I start, right. I went to Forbidden Planet today, had a meeting. Uh, called him before I went to the meeting. Busy, real big, silly meeting about stuff and bits. And uh, I called it Forbidden Planet. Uh, ended up uh, buying something as usual. I didn't think I'd buy this, I was going to buy this at Christmas. Uh, when I saw it, I fell in love with it. Here it is. The Star Trek, what from the one company, the Star Trek Phaser. This is the box. Now, I'm not going to tune it in and all this. I'm just going to do a basic because it's like going on at one o'clock in the morning. So, this is the phaser. This is the box. Uh, see, that's the back of the box there. And uh, side, nice uh, Starfleet logo. Bit of the Enterprise on it. Very nice. Impressed with this. I paid 119 quid for this. I know I could have got it on eBay for 108, but it was there. I saw it. Sometimes seeing stuff, uh, you know, than actually touching it, you know, you'd rather touch it, get a feel of it. Now the beauty of this, right, is is I'm going to get onto the presentation box in a sec. This is the instructions, right, for it. Uh, as you can see, it's quite a lot of gobbledygook to get through an instructions. Me, I don't read a lot of that. I just start pressing buttons and you know learn. If you ever bought a mobile phone, you get a, like a book like that for it, you know, and you don't bother reading, just pin it and just press buttons. That, but you do get a nice picture of the face there, which I think is really nice artwork. So I'm quite impressed with that. For what I paid for this, I'm impressed. Now you get master uh, master replicas and all that, and I've got one or two of their phases, and they, I mean, you're talking four or five hundred pounds for some of that stuff. This is equal to any of theirs because they've got an original phaser on theirs, you know. And it's yeah, you know, I got one of them, one of them ones, but it's uh, it's three hundred quid. I'm sitting for possibly a bit more, you know, with your purse back case. This to me blows that out of the water. This is from the one company. This is what you get it in. Have you seen that? Uh, it says, uh, look at that, look at that. Now that is stunning, isn't it? You know, uh, Enterprise, uh, hang on, uh, USS Enterprise, NCC 1701 uh, standard issue phaser. Now, I suppose you could write your name on there, but why Why would you do that? Put your rank as that, I suppose some people will. But that's the back. The box is plastic, as you can tell. You know, so I put the box down. Now, when I got it, I'm not, when I was in the pub, I shot a had a quick look and I took a few photographs but this is what you get when you open it look at that look at that that is like I mean I don't it's absolutely superb isn't it I mean I love the paddy and the all of it you know right so let's one more look I'll take a closer I was just stunned when I opened it this is the best 120 quid I've spent on Star Trek stuff in a long time Right, so you get this, there's the grip, obviously. It's metal, the whole grip is solid metal. Do you know what I mean? So you get a screw, I'll, I'll go into that in a second. There's little power adapters uh, and the screw there. That is metal, it weighs, it's heavy. Now can you imagine like, if these things were like real, they would be heavy, wouldn't they? Because they won't be plastic. Do you know what I mean? This is the, uh, magnetic stand do you know what i mean which i was quite impressed with that it's amazing what they're doing with magnets uh right so you get the phaser one obviously it turned into phaser two this is it now all this is metal uh your power settings a beautiful metal switch uh nice uh, silicone thing you know dials there but this is this is lovely, you know the the metal on that. So you turn it underneath. Yeah, you remember the uh, diamond select ones with the power button underneath. You know when you stand there like that. But this thing, this this is just honestly. Do you remember the Franklin Mint with the metal ones on top? This is what this reminds me of. But it, you know, I'm looking forward to this. It takes two hours to charge it up apparently by via USB. There's your USB cable. I'm going to figure all this out. I think the USB cable goes in there somewhere to charge it. Well, there, there's there's the other part of it. Obviously, the light settings, 
twist that around. All standard, uh, you know, stuff that air the stun and the the, the over overcharge thing. You know, like on the down slot, we can overcharge it. And you remember the old Playmates one as well. You know, we could change the settings. There's the little power things. Right, as, as I think, right, so, right, that's that bit. You get a little Starfleet screwdriver, you know, to screw it in. So you get that here. This is this is quite cute, actually. And some uh, writing on the side, or oh, numbers or something. Hang on. NCC170. Right, so let's get that into view. Right, I don't know if you can see it. So you get a little screwdriver. Got it all out. That's the box. So put that down. Right, let's get the screwdriver out. So I've got the screwdriver. Get the grip. Put the grip in now. Put the grip in. Right, that's the grip in. Let's get this in. Right, as you can see, the screw's going in sort of nicely. I'm left handed actually, so we're doing this the other way. But let's, let's just temporarily put it in now. Put it in. Yeah, just get a drill out really and do it. <laughs> you, know, you know, for that. So that's, that's that. Now I've got this in my hand. Uh, and it's like metal, and I'm telling you, it weighs some, it weighs some weight. This, it says on the book you can use this for like going to conventions. You can use it, but I, I don't think I would. I'd rather use the diamond slot. At least it's plastic. And if it breaks, it's replaceable. This, I, you know, for what you pay for it, I don't think I'd want to go out and buy another one. You know, there's some I think you put in your display cabinet. I can't see myself using it as a remote. So. Now, what you do, now on the down slot you pull it out, you know that, we fit the phaser one, so you press it in like that, so putting it in now, right, putting it in, right, hang on, there we go, put it in, I, I should have put this on the table, but I ain't got time to set anything up, right, so look, let's, look, there we go, that's it, it's all, Set up as you can see. That is that is beautiful. I mean, I, it looks like the real bloody thing. I mean, it's bloody metal. I, this is just this is awesome. Yeah, I, I really want to see this thing working. You know, but it's going to take two hours to charge it. By the time it's at three o'clock in the morning. So yeah, that's it. Screwed in. It's all there. That is absolutely superb. I might get the Franklin Moon one out and compare it. Uh, you know, so I do like Franklin Mint stuff. I know it's years ago, but I do like it. That is nice. So right, don't forget USB cable. Now, I'll, once I've gone into instructions, I, I have found the adapter. I think I know where it is, and I will put it in. But I'm not going to do that till tomorrow morning. But so I put that back. This is the uh, Starfleet screwdriver. Put that back in its little box. As you can see, it's all in there. Do you know what I mean? So, turn it round. Oh, that's so cool. Don't you think that is so cool? Like, I just love this box. It's going to look great. I mean, you could display it in there. Or have it on a stand. I mean, that's what a beauty. It's like, you, you, join, you know, you're on the Enterprise and there's your, fur, your red shirt on, there's your phaser, you know, and your little box and that. But shut up. So, right, I've got the stand out. Got the stand, uh, right, this is the stand. On the stand, it's, on the stand you've got some writing actually. This is stand, it says, you know, use your Enterprise, USS Enterprise 1701. So that's all on that. So I'll put, right, that's the stand. There you go. Now I'm holding this in midair. Right, it's not on a flat surface, I'm holding this. And that's, look at that. The magnet is holding that together. That is absolutely, look at that, and this is, honestly, I am so impressed with this. Right, so we're getting a closer look. Right, this is on the stand. As you can see, what's well, going to go give a wobble. Look at that, that's beautiful. I, I really wish I had time to get this working, so it's just the basics. But I might do another video tomorrow when I've got it all charged up and 
got it working, give it a go on the telly or, or the Blu-ray or something. But that is superb, that is the stand. Uh, just put it on the table, let's uh, try and get down, can we see it? That's on the stand now, you can see it on the stand. That That's impressive, don't you think? So that's it really, that's... Uh, uh, the uh, phaser remote control from the one shop, uh, the one uh, the one people that did the sonic screwdrivers, that is marvellous. So nothing else to say. I uh, sorry I didn't have time to charge it up and get the noises going. Trust me, I really want to play with this. Do you know what I mean? So, but uh, I'll have a cup of tea and I think I'll spend half an hour admiring it, probably with some Star Trek on. So until the next video, Merry Christmas and. Uh, you know, have a good one. See you then. Bye.